My name is Nishan Woodley. I'm the director of the Sydney Film Festival. And this year at the festival, you can expect a selection of films from around the world. <laughs> Baccarat is a new film from the Brazilian filmmaker Kleber Mendoza Filho, uh, who's been at the Sydney Film Festival before, most recently Aquarius, which actually went on to win the Sydney Film Prize. This time he's co-directed a film with Giuliano Donnells, and it's an incredible film. It's a film that's part politic parable, magic realism fable, and an explosive genre film to boot. So it's a film that goes in very surprising directions, and I think people are going to be quite stunned when they walk out of that cinema. Sasha Pollock's Daddy God is really an incredible film. It's a film set in England. She's a Dutch director, and it's her first English language film. It's about a young woman who's recovering from an acid attack, which is obviously an incredibly traumatic thing to go through. But it's a film about independence, about sexuality, about someone finding themselves once again after a traumatic incident. And it's filled with resilience and power, and I think it's... Uh, a film that's very striking with a beautiful, beautiful performance. Bellbird by Hamish Bennett. This is the first film, and we're going to present the film as a world premiere at the festival. It's from New Zealand, and it's a very delicate, beautiful film about a farming community in rural New Zealand and how a community comes together after a loss. It's told with a warm humour. It's a very gentle film. It's one that I, I really adore. God Exists, Her Name is Petrunia is the first film from Macedonia to ever appear in the Sydney Film Festival's official competition. And it's a wonderful story of a young woman who enters a competition that was traditionally for males only. She jumps into a river and grabs a wooden cross. Uh, the town goes absolutely insane at this. They feel that she's stolen the cross, that a woman has no right to participate in this competition. But Petrunia is strong and she insists on keeping her cross. So it's a film that's uh, very funny, but obviously looks at a very serious issue at the same time. We present Hearts and Bones by Ben Lawrence as a world premiere. It's a fantastic film starring Hugo Weaving as a war photographer and a brand new actor called Andrew Lurie. It's his first acting experience. And it's about the meeting between a war photographer and a refugee. And it's a mysterious film that looks back at an incident from many years ago that could deeply affect both their lives. Never Look Away is by the German director Florian Henkel van Donnersmark, who made The Lives of Others, the Oscar-winning film that went on to be a huge success all around the world. And this time, again, he looks at German history, this time three eras, and the result is a phenomenal love story and a wonderful example of how the political can have such a deep, long-lasting impact on the personal. Pedro Almodovar's 21st film, Pain and Glory is probably his most personal yet, and wonderfully played by Antonio Banderas, who plays a character who's very much like Pedro Almodovar. And the film looks at love, at art, at cinema, at family, and I think it's a film that makes you swoon in the way only a Pedro Almodovar film can. No ha sido un buen hijo, hijo mío. No. No. Mirror Folk's Judy and Punch premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. I was at one of the first screenings of the film and was together with an audience that completely didn't know how to react at certain moments. It's a film that really surprises at every turn. It's incredibly funny. It turns into a feminist revenge tale. It's a film that's kind of out of time in a way. Uh, you're not quite certain where it's set and when it's set, but it's brilliantly funny and with fantastic performances by Mia Wasikowska and Damon Harriman. Bong Joon-ho was at the festival a few years ago and returns now with a Korean language film called Parasite. And it's a film that I hesitate to say anything about because it's so surprising. But what I can say is that at the very start of the film, you see a family that's very poor and you meet a family that's very rich. And these two families are going to intersect in the most unexpected way. Synonyms by Nedav Lapid is one of the wildest films of the festival. It's a, a film that's not easy to watch all the time. Um, because of its wildness. It's about a character who arrives in Paris from Israel and wants to erase his identity. And we see him go through this process in a torturous way. It's a film that's funny in parts, disturbing in others, and one that you'll not easily forget. Tu connais qui comme Français à part nous deux? Céline Dion. The Souvenir won the Grand Jury Prize in Sundance and is a marvelous film, again looking at the personal. It's based in part on Joanna Hogg's own life, and is about this love affair with a mysterious man who claims to work for the Foreign Office, and while her friends warn her about him, she's very much in love. 
but gradually the true story emerges. Manos by Alejandro Landes is a film set in the jungle and is a Lord of the Flies type situation with very young people who are gorillas. And we watch as the power games play out. It's a film that's stunning visually and one that really unsettles you. I'm so happy with this lineup this year. I think it's really a selection of great films by exciting filmmakers, brand new names, some of the most established names of world cinema, and uh, each film has something so fantastic to offer. Thank you so much and see you at the festival.